I'm Lisa Lampanelli, host of Pack Rats. For this week's episode, we traveled four miles south of Greenwich, Connecticut, to the fabulous town of Port Chester, New York, where we're about to redo this dump behind me. This week, our team of trash eliminators are gonna go inside, spruce this place up, get rid of the clutter, and teach these people how to live like normal, functioning human beings. Our subjects, Rome and George. An uncle and a nephew who live in filth. Some call it collecting, others call it a sickness. We just call it pack rats. Oh my God. If people were on death row and lived in this house, they wouldn't prolong their life with appeals. Oh my God. Can you show us a little bit about the kitchen? We noticed some interesting things, George and Rome. Who plays the lottery? I do, I do. Really, they play a lot? No, it's just accumulation of years. Right, yeah. right, just not too much. Well, four, five, seven piles. Now, Rome and George, I noticed there's a list of women's names here. Kristen, Allison, Katie. I think these are all the cleaning ladies who killed themselves. I have trouble spelling them. Yeah. need this. I, I took yeah. one. Is that all right? It's a uh, dollar. Who cares? Uh, there's over a thousand cans. I oh, you're saying that's can money? Well, well yeah. I pick off the street. I, no, I cleaned that's good. It's good. I, I, no, I clean the streets. You know what? You do a lot for the environment. Every no, just a little bit. But you do a lot every time you stay in the house. That's good for the environment. This is unique. This is nice. I see he has all the holidays circled in red. Well, tell me about the calendar. Tell us about the calendar. What? Well, it's a standard calendar. Standard calendar. Yeah, it's all in one sheet. Mm-hmm. And uh, apparently he marked all the cleaning days in purple. No purple on there. Okay, I notice over here, mm. I'm interested in this, you have a nice collection of what appears to be water. It's dripping, it's you know? Yeah, well, good. I don't want to go down a drain. No, of course not. So you save this water now. Yes. How do you know when well, to dump Well, this is the old method oh. before you have plumbing. You know, you wash your hands. Oh, my God. Okay. Did you touch that? Okay. Get away from me! <laughs> now, I notice you have two insurance agents, one for the house, one for the filth. Did she ever come over? Did she faint? No. <laughs> Did she, she try? Doesn't, no, she doesn't want to lose her business. Hey, you know what? It's a gold mine over here. You know, mm -hmm. standing this close to you and looking at all your things, I just mm -hmm. want to say, uh, would you like a Tic Tac, please? I don't use mint. <laughs> don't need mint. No, you're all natural. <sighs> Taking one look at this room, you think, when does fire stop being a hazard and become part of the solution? Uh, I was looking through your room and I couldn't help but notice a few things, your living room. First of all, I'm glad the cleaning lady came today. Can you explain some of your stuff? Mm -hmm. You know, um, first of all, this Van Gogh. Is that an original? Um. Well, what's this? You know what? Some people say the lamp breaks. Throw it the hell out. Not you. No. So what do you think? What? How? How'd you do this? It's a uh, with the uh, what do you call it? Uh, the thing. That's a, yeah. The thing. Well, yeah. The, yeah. The thing. And right. Can I use the lamp and does it work? Can I? Yeah. Floor sweeper. Well, there you go. The, the, a floor the, the, sweeper the, and a lamp. Yeah. All right. I would say that the guy who does those inventions, he should look into no, marketing a, this. Uh, a karaoke machine. Who doesn't yep. love karaoke? Yep. Yep. Come on. Karao do you sing with karaoke, Jordan? Um, not too much, occasionally. Come on, you know you do. Donkey Donkey Shane. Shane. Does George ever bring in the ladies to the house? Do you bring the girls over? No. Darling, Donkey, Donkey Shane. Shane. Oh, Take it. Oh, I love it. Oh, sorry. Let's see what else you got. Oh, a gun. This is interesting. You're a former postal worker. Mm. Um, is this something you used on the job? No, no, it's not my gun. Oh, is that your gun? No. This is just a gun you found in the house. George, is this your gun? Yeah. Oh, it is yours. Okay. Okay, what do you use it for? Um, home defense. Oh, has anybody tried to break in and clean the place? <laughs> um, now your smoke detectors are here. Mom, do you get a little nervous sometimes that the house might burn down because they're here? 
Yeah, I do have a Snoop smoke detector. Oh, you do? Yeah, that's Where is it? Upstairs. Oh, I saw it. It was held on by string. Does it have a battery in it? Yeah. That's oh, okay. Has it ever gone off? Mm, now, I might be, George, come here. When he's looking into that gun, it's hard to I'm concentrate sorry. on I'm, our conversation. I don't want, I don't want. Help me. It's a goose. How do you know it's not a gander? Oh, and a hat. A str Let me climb. Hold. Okay, hold on. I think we have a Eisenhower election hat. Oh. That, our, our, all right. Rome, you have yourself here a lot of sewing accoutrements. You got right. your thread, yeah. your pin cushions, your needles, your uh, yes. your scissors. Are you a craftsman? Do you no, like to make no. clothes? No, there's repair. Oh, okay. So for what? For your furniture? When? Uh, anything you need sewing, yeah. What's the last thing you can remember sewing? You remember? Mm -hmm. Well, that's good work. What did you do? Did you, did you put a patch underneath? Yeah. What color? Well, it was duct tape. When do you consider clothes too used to wear anymore? Yeah, my biggest problem is the size, not the age. So what, you keep getting smaller or bigger or what? Yeah, getting bigger. Bigger? You gaining mm. weight? Mm. Really? Why do you think that is? Eating, eating. Do you, do you think you overeat? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's one of the few pleasures I have. Sure, sure. That's... That and, you know... And besides, it's medicinal. It's medicinal. So listen, guys, here's what we're going to do. Mm. I got a crew of trash eliminators that are going to come in here, tackle this one room, and clean this thing out. Mm. You willing to do that for us? Yeah. Well, yeah, I just don't want anything to be misplaced. No, don't worry. We'll try not to lose anything, okay. especially the gun. Okay. Mm. Okay, guys, get out of here for a couple hours, mm. and we'll see what we can do. Wish us luck. This is the handyman. He fixes sinks, broken chairs, lamps, and stairs. He's real handy. This is the organizer. She sorts everything into piles and decides what stays and what goes. Good luck. Say hello to the disinfector. She's the exact opposite of a dirty pooer. And finally, this is the interior decorator, or should I say, interior desecrator. He'll investigate all the decorating features and designate duties to our troops. Oh! Have you ever seen so much dust in your life? Aunt B, are you there, Aunt B? Send someone to clean this place. Plastic bags? Did the Chinese delivery boy die in here? This is left over from the jury room at the Patty Hearst trial. Paint by numbers, Portofino. Who's this baby? Does it have anything to do with the mess that occurred here? It's a copy of a copy of a copy of the Van Gogh. Oh my God, I broke the smoke detector. Who cares? Tennis, anyone? A picture cube of dead nieces? Never a good idea. <laughs> do they ever throw anything out around here? Let's summon the troops. Cocktails, anyone? <laughs> Check it out. What do you think, huh? Yeah. Pretty good? Yeah. What do you think? You gonna keep it? Well, a few moments anyway. <laughs> sure. Bet you can't. Mm. Say thank you. Yes, thank him. Thank, thank you, you, pack rats. <laughs> Help. Well, that does it for us at Pack Rats. Hope you had a good time. I gotta go take a shower.